With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's solve the question. The question says that the capacitance of the infinite ladder is shown here. So there is a, this is the capacit means uh, the figure is shown here. Let's see how to do this. Means uh, this is very, it seems very hard, but it's very easy. You see, like the capacitance between A and B. From here you see, it's a very big ladder, right? The All the capacitors are same here. So let us suppose, let us cut the uh, total ladder from this point to here. This is very infinite now. So suppose if we take a small particle from a like a, a bigger mountain, then the mountain will be still there only. That a small particle is not going to affect, right? Suppose the entire capacitance, the entire capacitance of this system is suppose C1. Okay. Then only these two capacitors are only uh, le left behind. So the net capacitance from about PQ and about AB should be same because uh, this two will act as a particle in the big mountain. So the capacitance about AB and capacitance about PQ is going to be same. So this is the real funder that we are going to do here. So from here we can say that capacitance about AB is equals to capacitance about PQ is equals to C1. Okay. Now just see what will happen now. Now what we can do is this one is C. This one I am saying is C1. And the this is not the diagram of no? correct diagram. Okay, let me draw it again. Now what else? This one is C. Okay. So this is C, this is C, this one is point A and this one is point B. Now this one is P and this one is Q. Uh, this one is Q. Now just see about PQ we have already mentioned it as C1. So about AB also it will be C1 only. So it's going to be C1. Now you just see from this system you see C and C1 is in series and then again C is in parallel. So let us write this equation. So what will be the final diagram? Means the final conclusion we will be doing here is The final capacitance about AB you see, the final capacitance about AB that is CAB is equals to C1, isn't it? So the final capacitance C1 will be this C plus the net capacitance between C and C1. The net capacitance between C and C1 will be acting as a series to C. So the net capacitance will be how much because they are in series. So in series it will be C into C1 plus C plus C1, right? So upon solving this, you see what we are going to get. We will get as C1 is equals to, means, uh, yeah. So what will be there, you see? Uh, this will be 1 upon C1, huh? why I am saying it's 1 upon C1, just a minute. Here it, it is going to be in parallel, uh, means the parallel only not parallel basically this is going to be series you just see this is also going to be in series right this one is going to be series so it will be 1 upon c1 not only c okay so it's going to be c1 it's going to be c1 so 1 upon c1 is going to c plus c into c1 upon c plus c1 so when you will solve this so you will be getting the equation as you will be getting a quadratic equation what will be that quadratic equation? That quadratic equation you will be getting as C1 square minus C C1 minus C square is equals to 0. Now from there you can find C1 as C1 is equals to C plus plus minus also. Then C square plus 4 C square upon 2. Okay. I am neglecting minus sign because capacitance cannot be negative. 
so from here we can say that c1 is equals to 1 plus root 5 by 2c so this is the desired capacitance between means capacitance net capacitance along a b hope you understand thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today